What is going on everybody? Just wanted to make a quick video going over the two main reasons why I think angle routes are so much more effective in Madden 18 than they were in Madden 17. Now, first things first, you're going to want to find a play with an angle route in your playbook. Right here, we're in the gun doubles Y off formation out of the Houston Texans book. HB angle is going to be the play. Basically, every playbook is going to have an angle route in it. And for defense, we're going to go up against random zone coverages. Now, zone because I think that's a little more popular than man online, as well as the fact Angle routes can have success against man-to-man -man coverage, but it seems a little more random than zone. So I'd rather uh, the sure thing for demonstration sake. But uh, the first thing you're going to notice here as uh, the defense comes out in quarters three deep is just how quickly uh, this route breaks out of the backfield right there. He gets a little caught up with the middle linebacker, so not the best example. But if you saw on the break how quickly he cuts out of that break right there and gets over the middle of the field, attacks that part of the field, makes it really difficult uh, for these players on the defense, especially with zone being kind of in the state that it's in right now, to be able to clamp down and make a play. Also, if you're up against heavy pressure, this is going to give you a super quick hot read. I mean, you see right there, I'm dropping back maybe a second in the pocket at most right there, and I'm already getting the ball out just because of how quickly he breaks over the middle of the field. Super great, quick pass. Also, a lot of people on defense like to use that middle of the field, and what they'll do a lot of the time is they'll drop back and defend against those you know seam routes down the middle of the field streaks posts slants stuff like that over the middle and then they'll try and clamp down they'll circle around and clamp down on anything that's breaking over the middle of the field later on in the play and angle routes used to be a prime example uh, of a route that used to this used to happen all the time in madden 17 on because uh, they develop so slowly but now as you see how quickly it develops your opponent's not going to be able to do that anymore. You have to 100% commit as a user defender uh, to try and take away this angle route if you want to do that. You can't sink back, user a seam route for a second or two, and then try and circle back around and, and jump the route. There's no more, you know, jumping the route as Wilds drops it twice in a row. You have to commit because of how quickly uh, it makes them, you know, have to be down there just because of how crisp the route is. Now, uh, basically, if your opponent starts doing that and has to hard commit, uh, that's when you would hit him up top with something like this Njoku route right here. Hypothetically, if your opponent were to, you know, grab onto that middle linebacker and uh, play really aggressively by the line of scrimmage, anticipating that angle route, uh, that's when you squeeze in something right there like to Njoku. Obviously, force that in for demonstration's sake, but if your opponent were to use her underneath, that's kind of the supplemental route you could go to. Now, you might be wondering why I'm running this with the Cleveland Browns. Uh, the reason right here on the screen is because I went through altered all of the running back route running ratings to try and see if there's a threshold for how quickly uh, they could run this angle route basically what i found is there is no threshold so i'm demonstrating it with brandon wilds right there on the screen zero route running and uh, what you were just seeing was how you know that route is run when you have a route rating of zero so you're not going to have to worry about a route running rating whenever you're in mutt or whatever mode you play in with your running back when running angle routes every single running back going to be able to run it just as well as the next going to get those crisp cuts out of the backfield uh, so that is a huge bonus as well now uh, kind of contrasting uh, that angle route to what you kind of would see last year from the angle routes now I don't have Madden 17 footage but you kind of get a similar effect with these tight end trail routes as we'll go to the gun bunch Texan trail as you see Njoku right here on this trail route and it's kind of what you saw last year so you see how he deliberately kind of chops his feet yeah you're able to complete the pass right there as he drops it but it kind of lends itself to see how quickly um, you know your opponent could circle back around on that route because of how slowly it developed right so the angle route much more quickly developing right here you see Joku chopping his feet you know five six times maybe before trying to plant uh, basically rerouting himself back over the middle of the field reaccelerating and then getting back up to full speed by this point your opponent could have easily you know user to seam route user that post route behind it and then circle back around and try to jump this route essentially using two routes in one and this is kind of what you would see last year out of an angle route in Madden 17 so that just kind of shows the, the compare and contrast of you know last year this year and how much of a buff I think uh, this year's angle routes got compared to how what kind of state they were in last year now the second reason more indirect uh, than direct to angle routes but we'll go ahead come back out in HB angle and on defense we'll come out in a popular formation last year nickel 245 and we'll go ahead and run a popular blitz corner blitz three so 
basically the setup you would kind of see something like this with this outside corner blitzing off that right edge and a lot of people would try and come up with these different protection schemes to try and pick up that edge pressure that was very difficult to pick up last year uh, you would see you know max protect something like this you would see max protect with slide protection and you might see you know a block and release with a slide the other way to try and get the running back to cut block that defender but point is uh, they would basically come up with all these fancy protection schemes uh, and generally that would involve blocking the running back now this year you don't have to do that anymore you have the ability uh, basically the O-line AI is so much improved you could probably just slide protect but now you have the ID the mic feature where you could highlight that outside defender identify him as the mic and your O-line is gonna make a point to block him and that's gonna give you the time in the pocket to let your routes develop downfield and that's gonna let you leave that angle route on the field most importantly you don't have to sacrifice that angle route out the backfield now uh, in in terms of getting more pass protection now you can confidently say okay I'm just gonna identify the guy my opponent it keeps on blitzing I'm gonna leave my angle route out there it's gonna be a hot read and I'm gonna go ahead and let him clear the zones underneath and make a play on the ball so that's the second reason more indirect than direct as I said earlier uh, but I think that does play a huge part in not only angle routes but running back routes out of the backfield in general the fact that now you don't have to block them every single play to pick up the pressure but two main reasons right there how crisply the routes run this year as well as better O-line pass protection are why I think they are much better in Madden 18 than they were last year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely comment. Let me know what you guys thought. Let me know what your experience with angle routes have been in Madden 18. Have you been having a lot of success with them? Have you been having trouble defending them? Let me know. I think it'd be interesting to hear. Uh, but like I said earlier, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, guys, take it easy.